In algebra, linear means that the highest power of any variable you're solving for is 1. Instead of having just an expression with no equal sign and no relationship to anything else, an equation always has an equal sign. It also states that whatever is on one side of the equal sign equals the other side. One of the most basic methods for solving equations is to divide each side by the same number. Many formulas and equations include a coefficient or multiplier with the variable. To get rid of the multiplier and solve the equation, you divide. Let's solve for the value of x. First, determine the multiplier of the variable and divide both sides by it. In this case, 20. Then reduce both sides of the equal sign. So, x equals 170 over 20, or 8.5. Here's a real world scenario. Say you need to buy 72 donuts for a staff meeting. How many dozen donuts is that? Using the same formula, let D represent the number of dozen donuts you need. There are 12 donuts in a dozen, so 12D equals 72. 12 times the number of donuts you need has to equal 72. So, once again, determine the multiplier of the variable and divide both sides by it, in this case, 12. Then reduce both sides of the equal sign. So D equals 6 dozen donuts. The opposite operation of multiplication is division. If you use division to solve an equation that multiplies the variable, it only makes sense that you would use multiplication where a number divides the variable. This is what it looks like. Try solving for y in this equation. First, determine the value that divides the variable and multiply both sides by it. In this case, 11 divides the y, so that's what you multiply by. Then, once again reduce both sides of the equal sign, and y equals negative 22. Multiplication and division are opposite operations. Multiplication is undone by division and vice versa. Another option may work better at times. That's using the reciprocal, or multiplicative inverse, of the number that you're trying to get rid of. Choose this alternative if a fraction is multiplying the variable, as in 3x over 19 equals 12. Remember, two numbers are reciprocals if multiplying them together yields a product of 1. Here's how you would use reciprocals to solve this simple linear equation. First, multiply each side by the reciprocal, 5 fourths. Then, just like before, reduce and simplify. And you get a equals 15. Here's one more example. x over 2 is another way of saying 1 half times x. So we can solve this by multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2. Then, after we reduce and simplify, we see that x equals 38. So that's it for solving simple linear equations. But you can apply these same techniques on more complicated ones.